Hey folks, just a super quick update. Um, yes, uh, somebody did show up at the meet today with uh, malicious intent. And you know what? There was, it was nothing. This dude is epic. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, brand new, off the press, available for pre-order. It'll be available next Friday, but you can get 22% off if you order it in pre-order. After pre-order, there'll be no discounts and there's a limited supply. So if you want this shirt right now, 22% off, put in the discount code LA22. LA22, pre-order this shirt. Now we got the, the women's crop and then we also have the unisex t-shirts like the one I'm wearing right now. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. Anytime I go live, make a video, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Like this video, comment this video, share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I, this, this dude is epic. I, I just thank God somebody standing up to these fools that are out here thwarting the accomplishments of women. Now, if you don't know the story that I'm talking about, the story out of Canada is a gentleman who, <laughs> the trans person, which is down here, this person out there just thugging these women. Welcome to and says something controversial. Um, why is women's bench so bad? I mean, not compared to me. We all know that I'm a freak, so that doesn't count. And no, we're not talking about Mackenzie Lee. She's got little T-Rex arms and she's like 400 pounds of chest muscle, apparently. I mean, standard bench in powerlifting competition for women. I literally don't understand why it's so bad bad. My son, he weighs 45 pounds. His max bench is like 33. I'm legit seeing some women in competition who are doing something like 50 pounds. And I just don't understand it. I don't understand why so many women are skipping bench and focusing on everything else. Yeah, that's my controversial thing today. After hitting the weights, breaking the records, powerlifting champ, all this. So at the same meet, the man, because Canada is so woke that you don't need no verification whatsoever. You can just identify as a, as a woman. He identified as a woman and ended up smashing her record by, by 100 pounds. Now, don't just watch the clip. Listen, watch the video. I got video evidence, ladies and gentlemen. He finna smash her record. Look at this. Roll the clip. Just to put this in context, she did 275. Finna do 370. All right, roll the clip. Up, 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 up. Lightweight. I used to do powerlifting, by the way. Lightweight. All right, homeboy did that. Is is all right now? Here's the hold on, hold on. But I want to interject. Homeboy did that weight like it was going out of style. I thought it was feathers on either side. Now the transgender person is upset now <laughs> because her grift is over. <laughs> Another real man decided to put her to the test, and this is what she had to say. Just a super quick update. Um, yes, uh, somebody did show up at the meet today with. Uh, malicious intent and you know what there was it was nothing um it was just entirely ignored people lifted i volunteered everyone was happy that i was there and it really struck me that maybe my participation isn't necessarily fair i mean you know there's science whatever Then why are you on in the competition if you feel like your competition or your participation isn't fair? Why, why are you even in the competition? Because you you were willing to go there, sign up, pay your fees, and lift the weights to beat all the girls. Like why, why would you do that if you really felt like, well, my participation may not be fair? But listen to how, how ignorant it gets after that statement. But, but. people welcome me because 
I'm actually nice to people. I show up and I try to make everyone happy. And I think that matters a hell of a lot more than people give it credit for. You showed up to make it. You think this is narcissism. You think you showed up to make everybody happy and that's all that matters. Women are showing up to compete. They've been training all year long. They can't take steroids. They can't have performance enhancing drugs. They show up to compete. And all that hard work you have to do doing powerlifting, they show up to get an award for their efforts. You talking about making people happy because you're nice. Ain't nobody care about you being nice. You just blew the women out of the water. Now, you see how that feel when a dude came and smoked you? Well, that's how it feel when you go and smoke the women. They know that you're stronger. You're clearly five times the size of a woman doing powerlifting at that weight. And, and, you, and you're literally thwarting these women's accomplishments. They could have been first place. They could have been second place. They could have been third place. They would have made a podium. They would have got a medal. But you know that your, your, your efforts are, un, are unfair. And you did it anyway. And now you want to cry when somebody do you the way you did them. People want me there because I'm actually nice to people. Just a, a little thought. I get out. Get out of my camera. Get out of my, get out of my thing. People want me there because I'm nice. No, you think you nice. They getting slated. But I just want to throw that out there. Ladies and gentlemen, these people are out of control. That's why we got to call them out every time. And shout out to the brother, my brother from another mother. Pulled up on him, identified as a girl, didn't cut his beard, didn't do nothing. And because they so leftist and, 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 and ridiculous, they had to let him compete as a girl or they would be discriminating against him. Now, he didn't broke the world record probably <laughs> for women in, in a bench press. And he did like this. <laughs> that dude did his bench press like I do 225. I mean, not 225, 135. Let me not lie to y'all on the count. I ain't lifted in a while. My max was, my max was 395. When I was in college, and I did 225, 32 times. <laughs> Your boy was a beast. But anyway, I'm not identifying as a girl either. I see y'all the next one. Comment in the comment section. Was he wrong for what he did? Or was he right on point? I'm out. If you enjoyed this video, I put out three videos a day. So make sure you go to the uh, playlist that says new video and watch more videos. Subscribe to this channel. Let's go, baby.